I somehow forgot how thick Elastigirl was since Incredibles 2, and now I'm appreciating her all over again. That woman has enough cake to open up a bakery on her own, and I'm number one in line on store open. The Incredibles is still like top five for Pixar. I I'd say it's top five, top 10 for animations in general. It's such an effortlessly amazing superhero movie. It doesn't even try to be one. It's, it's so much more. It's got some mystery. It's a family drama. It's got some spy elements. It's obviously got the superhero stuff, plenty of action, some great effects for the, I mean, still, it still looks great. And that's thanks to that retro-inspired style that the design team put on it. Brad Bird and a lot of his team from Iron Giant came over to Pixar and worked on this film, and man does it show. You get some of that Iron Giant feel in this. The primary focus is on Bob, aka Mr. Incredible, who has been retired from the game. Used to be one of the greatest superheroes of a generation. He's now a family man. He's got a gut. He's got baggage, he's got a wife, he's got two kids, actually three kids, Jack-Jack's in this, I forgot. We got baby Jack-Jack in the mix. Although he doesn't really do much, he hasn't realized his potential until the final moments of the film. Mr. Incredible's sad. He's down on his luck, he's working a dead-end job, one of many he's had over the years, presumably because he keeps punching his bosses in the face. I suppose it's a tough transition to go from stopping high-speed trains and saving hundreds of people per year to working behind a desk job. His wife, Helen, AKA Elastigirl, has given up everything too to raise a family, and she's not even letting her kids use their abilities. I mean, except for at the dinner table where they just can't seem to get control of the situation. The guy would keep fighting crime if he could, but it's out of his hands after a multitude of lawsuits stop all superheroes for performing acts of, you know, kindness. No more saving cats out of trees. No more stopping bullies in an alleyway. It's all done. I have to give major props to the bold move of making the central plot revolve around putting a lawsuit on Mr. Incredible because he saved a guy from committing suicide. Like, the dude's pissed that he couldn't be allowed to kill himself. That's dark. I mean, that's... That's dark, even for Pixar slash Disney. And then the side cast is just as awesome. You have Frozone by Samuel L. Jackson. You have Brad Bird voicing Edna Mode, one of my favorite side characters of all time. Everything is so perfect in this. Sorry, I'm still like in, in rage mode from all the crap I've watched lately that I can't even give compliments without sounding upset. The sheer genius of the film comes from the twist that happens halfway through when it's revealed that the villain in the picture is actually Buddy. This kid bided his time. He did the slow burn holding a major grudge, building up his wealth to the point where he's a billionaire with uh, unlimited funds and access to the greatest weapons that he's designed. As I rewatched this, I just couldn't help but smile and appreciate all the thought that went into crafting this picture. There are no bad lines. There are no missed opportunities. There is not a single sequence in the film that makes me roll my eyes or think, really, did we have to include this in it? Characters make sense. They do believable things. They do realistic things. I somehow forgot how thick Elastigirl was since Incredibles 2, and now I'm appreciating her all over again. That woman has enough cake to open up a bakery on her own, and I'm number one in line on store open. The choreography is well thought out. I love how the family teams up here and there to combine their powers, and everything just comes full circle at the end. You get the glimpses that Jack-Jack's gonna be the psycho crazy baby with all these awesome abilities as you're listening to the babysitter start to slowly lose her mind on the phone. You have Syndrome finding out where they live and getting sucked into the turbine of the plane because earlier it's hinted that capes are the worst. The music's fire. The clothing is incredible. Incredible. So anything that comes after is gonna be a disappointment. Incredibles 2 certainly was. I just wanted to throw some praise out there. It feels good to reminisce about something that I love, and The Incredibles is certainly one of those things. So if you're like me, and have recently been drowning in just a series of terrible movies, do yourself a favor, go back and watch one of the good ones. One of the great ones. That's Incredibles. Hey, congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. If you're not a subscriber yet, I highly encourage you to be. I mean, you made it this far, why not go all the way? Hey, let's go nuts! Hit the like button if you had some fun here. There's plenty more to come, so I suggest sticking around. Let's, let's see, how, see how crazy things get. <laughs> Big laugh.